My name is Kyneton, the Tech Pro, and you can see I've built a beautiful application, just this demo application I built in Spring Boot. Uh, how to build this application, you can find it in the description box. Uh, I have a tutorial on creating this application using Time Leap. But today we are going to be talking about how to dockerize, how to create a, a, an image of this application and actually run this image and create a container. Actually, this is something very important. And if you are joining me for the first time, hit the subscribe button below, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss an update. And if you have any challenges, let me know because this is what I do. Uh, if you tell me your challenges, I'm going to help you solve it. Uh, simply um, leave me a comment to let me know if you need any, any, if you need anything. So I'm going to show you how to dockerize, how to create a Docker uh, for a Docker image for this application right here. Now it's, lo it's running on my local system. Of course, you know that Docker provides a way for you to create a portable version of your application that can run anywhere irrespective of the platform. Although there is not a lesson on Docker, we are going to be talking about how to simply dockerize this application now this is a simple application in spring boot so the first thing you want to do is to install docker in your system and start it as well for me i installed docker in my system because i don't have the version of the operating system that actually is compatible with docker so i installed uh docker tools i think that's the name docker tools so when you install it you have this quick start terminal right here so what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to open it by double clicking. So simply open it. This is the first step you are going to take. And once it opens up, you are going to see the IP address of this uh, Docker container, of this Docker um, application running here. All right, so uh, the next thing we are going to do is to create a Docker file. So I'm going to go to my Spring Boot application um, I'm going to first, let me stop it from running right here. I'm going to simply come right here and create a Docker file by saying, uh, right clicking and say new and create a new file. Simply give it a name, Docker file. Docker file, okay. So, and say finish. Now the content of this file, you will need to get it from from the from the Spring website. So you have the content of this file from here. All right. So I'll go to Spring the Tile Guide here. Da 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 da. Just search, simply look for Spring Boot Docker, and it takes you to this page. And you simply copy it and then paste it inside the Docker file right here, and just save it. That is all you need to do at this point. Um, what else? Um, okay, so at this point, the next thing you want to do, let's go to the steps. Now I'm actually creating a step-by-step -step in my website. Remember, I normally make step-by-step -step procedure in my website, but I'm not, I've not completed that yet. So check back again. I'll have a step-by-step, -step, the page in my website, where you can actually see the codes on all the steps you need to follow uh, with anything, everything you need to do. So we've created a Docker file. Now we are going to get the content from the Spring Boot site that we've done. Now let's build the Docker image. Now there is a command for building a Docker image and that command, you are going to run it on the, on the terminal. So let me first clear up this place. And this is a terminal. There is a terminal right here. Okay. So I'm going to kind of reinitialize the terminal by going to this place, right click and say show in local terminal, and I'm going to use Jitbash. If you don't know about Jitbash, you may see terminal here or you can see Jitbash, either of the two. I've explained how to do this in a different tutorial, or if you look in the description box, you'll see also how to add Jitbash at this point. Jitbash is simply a Linux uh, kind of a Linux uh, version of command prompt. So so it gives you a Linux, a Linux, a Linux appearance uh, for the commands. All right. So the 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 next step we are going to follow now says build the Docker image. So it's simple to build the Docker image. You simply run the command Docker uh, build and then give it the, the name of the image. So I'm going to say Docker. Meanwhile, I'm going to just come here and then uh, just close this. I'm going to say docker build 
and I'm going to say minus T and give the image a name. I'm going to say time leave. Okay, now we just call it Docker demo. Docker demo. That's the name of the image because you need to give it a name. So I'm going to just enter, and at this point it says it requires one argument. Okay, it needs the directory where you need to place this image. So I'm going to just say dots to specify that I'm going to place this image in the current directory. Okay, so run. So once you run it for the, the first time, it's going to take uh, maybe a few seconds. I think we, yeah, perfect. So our Docker image is built. How do you see whether the, is this image is built or not? You can simply say Docker image ls, Docker image ls, it tells you the images available. So you can see we have an image called Docker demo, the, the, the image here, 18 seconds ago, you can see. All right, let's check the next step we are going to follow says build the image, step three. Step four says run the Docker image. Now, when you run an image and a container is created, make no mistake about it, a container is, an, is, is created anytime you run an image. That is why they say a container is a running image, all right? So to create the image at this point, I'm going to simply say, um, to create an image, you simply say Docker, you simply say docker run. Remember, if you run an image and image starts running, it creates a container. Docker run and specify the, the, the name of the image, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the name of the image is docker demo, all right? So if you say docker run, docker demo is going to create an image, uh, spin up a container, and actually start running, okay? So the first thing it may do is, is going to build this application so it's able to uh, create this image of this application, all right? <clears throat> so it takes a few seconds and we are going to have a running container. You can see in less than 10 minutes, we have created a container with the Dockerize application and have a container running. This container now can be deployed to anywhere, to Docker Hub, um, <coughs> Actually, you deploy the Docker image to anywhere, to Docker Hub or to Kubernetes. And actually, you deploy an image, not the container. The container is actually when the image is running, all right? All right, so we have Docker run at this point, and, and we have the image, uh, the, the container is running at this point. So I'm going to come here. Now, remember, we opened this before now, and this tells us that uh, we have... Uh, machine with IP, so this is a local machine I, with IP 192.168.99.101. Now this Docker image I created, and this container now uh, is running, this container that is running now is running on this machine, on this machine. So it's actually hosted on this machine, just like the way you can host your image uh, in Kubernetes and actually run your container at that point. So we have this machine with IP 192.168. Not 99.101. So that's the, the default IP configured for the, the, the local machine. So what I can do at this point. So let's see. Uh, running. Okay. So if I say at this point, I can just say. Let's see if there's. Let's see the container running at this point. So I can say Docker container ls. So you can see that we have a container with a container ID at this point, D for da 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 da, and it's running. I created from this image Docker demo, as you can see. So how do we now uh, run this application or assign this application from the container? Now we are not running. You can see this application is not running in Spring Boot. It's running in the container in this machine deployed to the local machine which is uh, actually a virtual machine right here. So how do I assign this application? First, take note that this application runs at port 8080, but now it doesn't run on localhost. So if I go now to check in localhost, let's see. If I go to HTTP uh, localhost port 8080, I likely will not get this application. Actually, it's running in this place at this point. 
So I will not get this application because now this is running in a container in the in a different machine. So if I now go to check the IP 192.168.99.101, so I can say 192.168.99.101.192.168.99.101.101 at port 8080, I can go, I can assess it at that point. And at this point, you can see we are sure that 192, let's see. At port 8080, okay. So it should be okay. We need HTTP, HTTP. Okay, so let's see. So it doesn't work. So I think we need to expose the ports. Let's let me see. Uh, we need to expose port ATAT. Let's see. Um, So I think I'm going to say minus P8080, uh, I suppose it as port 8080. So I'm saying that port 8080 in the container is also port 8080 in the, in the, in the, in the, in the container, in the, in the machine. So I'm going to run it again. So let's see. Um, I should actually have killed the other container um, before I start a second one, but no problem. Let's see how it goes. All right. I think we should be okay in a second. All right. So started time live application. So at this point, if I go to if I go back here to check my containers, we can see, you can see that two containers are actually running. We have one of five minutes ago, and we have one that is of five seconds ago. Okay, all right. So now we have the new one running at port eighty eighty. So let's go back to port eighty eighty, as you can see. So here. It's automatically refreshed, so it's actually up and running now. So you can see, if we go to localhost, it doesn't work. Localhost at port 8080 um, slash student slash get all. You see, it doesn't actually work here, but it runs inside the container. So this is how to container, containerize your application. If this is informative for you, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also leave me a comment if you have any challenges. As I mentioned before, I'm actually going to, I'm actually making a comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install Docker, how to view the images, how to create new images, how to dockerize your application, create a Docker file, even how to deploy to Kubernetes. I actually want to make a very simple, clear, and, 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 and concise uh, lesson on this. So subscribe and also check my website for new updates uh, I make from time to time. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.